Okay, so we're reviewing less than, greater than, and equal to. Who can tell us what is this symbol right here? Um, this one right here. What symbol is that, Josh? Um, that's a uh, greater than. Good. Okay, that is greater <coughs> than. What is this symbol right here, Joanne? Less than. Less than. Good. Let me change my color here. Uh, I like that one. Less than. And this last one over here is the easiest one. Everybody yell it out. Equal! 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 Good. Equal! Equal to. All right, let's look at an example. We have the decimal here, 4 and 8 tenths and 4 and 8 hundredths. Remember, the first step is to line up your decimal points. So I'm going to want you to rewrite this with the decimal points lined up. Who can tell me what the next step is? What do we need to do next, Jonah? Um, we got to add a zero at the end of 4 and 8 tenths. Perfect. We're going to end a zero, put a zero right here to fill that place. And now they have the same amount of digits. It's easier for our eyeballs to look at it and our brains to register which one is uh, bigger. So who can read this number sentence to us now with the greater than, less than, or equal to sign filled in, Ella? 4 and 8 tenths is greater than 4 and 8 hundredths. Perfect. All right, let's try another one. What is the first step? What should we do first? Josh. Um, uh, um, uh, Phone a friend. Let's line the decimals up. Good. We want to line the decimal points up. Very first step is to line them up. They're in a nice line. Okay, what's our next step, Alyssa? To add a zero. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to start at the left and work our way right. The tenths column, those are exactly the same, aren't they? Yes. So they tell us no information. However, if we look at the hundredths column right there, that gives us some information. Okay, we have two different numbers there. We can use these to help us. So let's look at one and zero. Which one is bigger? One. Okay, one is greater than zero. Michaela, so can you read this back to us with um, the symbol filled in? Sixty-one hundredths is greater than six tenths. Perfect. Okay, nice job, Michaela. So that is greater than. Let's take a look at this next one. Who can tell us what is the first step that we should do? When we are given this type of problem, what do we want to do first, Olivia? Line the up. Yep, we're going to line them up. Now, this has money, but money is just decimals, okay? So we've got our decimal lined up. What do we need to add, Abby? A zero at the end of two and six. Perfect. Five. And now we're going to start at the left, and we're going to work our way right. Let's start right here. In the uh, ones column, does that give us any information whatsoever? No. No, because they're equal. Okay. So we're going to move over to the tenths. Does that give us any information? No. No. So we're going to move to the hundredths. Does that give us any information? No. It's all what? Equal. Equal. Good. Equal. Okay. The next type of problem you might have to do is to put things in order. It is the same exact steps though. So what should be my first step if I want to order these from least to greatest? What's the first step, Brandon? Line them all up. Yep. So I'm going to rewrite them all down here and I'm going to line up the decimal point. Now what do I do? What comes next? Next step, Alyssa? Add a zero to two and yeah, that way they all go to the hundreds. 
Okay, and now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go from the left to the right. And remember, we're going from least to greatest. So smallest to biggest. So I'm looking for the smallest one. Let's start here in our ones. I've got a two, a two, and a two. Does that give me any information about what is smallest? No. 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 So I'm going to go over to the tenths. And I have an eight, a zero, and an eight. That gave me information, didn't it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. This column right here gave me some information. And I'm going from smallest to biggest. Do I know which one is smallest now? Yes. Okay, yes. raise yes. your hand and tell me which one is smallest, Joanne. Two and eight hundred. Yeah, so I'm going to put a one next to this. I really, 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 like a million times, really, want to see you use this strategy on your quiz. Okay. Now I have an 8 and an 8. They're the same, huh? So I need to go over to my next column. But remember, now I'm only looking at this number and this number. We've already used that 8. And I'm going smallest to biggest. So I have a 0 and a 3. Which one is the smaller one of those two, Abby? The 0. The 0. So I'm going to put a 2 next to it. And then a 3. And I'm going to go on over here. And I'm going to rewrite these in order. So let's see. First, we had what? Two and eight, what? Hundreds. 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 Followed by two and eight. Ten. Ten. Tenths. Ten. Followed by two and eighty-three. Hundreds. Hundreds. So that is our answer. All right, let's try another one. This time we're going the other way. I like wish I could say this a trillion times, that this is the biggest problem people have and the biggest um, mistake people make is that they don't pay attention to the order they're supposed to use. Okay, so are you supposed to go least to greatest or greatest to least? Greatest, greatest to least. Greatest, greatest to least. Greatest case. So who can tell me what's my first step to solve this problem? KB. Uh, first, you got to use the greatest number. Well, how do, how, what do I need oh, to do though? The four line up first. There you go. I want to line up the decimal points. All right, there's, they're all lined up now. What do I do next? What's the next step, Jonah? You would um, put a zero at eight. Ten. Okay. What about here and here? Um, you would put a, a zero after eight, eight and forty. Yeah, and then another one here. Yeah, and then another one that's good. Good. And that makes it so they all have the same amount of digits. And now we're going biggest to smallest, so I'm looking for the biggest number. So let's start by looking right here first. In the tenths. Does that give me any sort of information? No. No, they're all the same. So let's go over now to the hundredths. And those are different, so it is going to give us information. But remember, I'm going biggest to smallest. So what number is going to be first in our order? Jacob. The first number is going to be 8,000 8, um, 8, and 400. 840 thousands. Good. What's going to be our next number in our order from biggest to smallest? Michaela? 813,000. Good. And our last one is going to be what, Joanne? 8 tenths. Yeah, it ends up being 8 tenths, right? If we go back to our original ones. So let's see. If I'm writing our order, it's going to be 84 hundredths, 813 thousandths, and 8 tenths. A lot of the times, people will say, well, Miss V, that number is the biggest. It has the most digits. Not the case when you're dealing with decimals. Abby? I have a question. Okay. Whenever you write, like, the same number, but whenever you write it with the, the zero at the end, does it count as wrong or the same thing? Like, if you're going to write write the order? Like, if um, eight times is like that, <coughs> and then you wrote two zeros, is that kind of wrong? No. It would be right. Okay. All right, so let's remember the steps again. Who can tell us step one when we're doing this kind of problem, Olivia? 
You have the land, the decimals. Do you guys ever um, watch that show oh, Oso? Oso on Disney Definitely. Junior? Yeah. Where it goes three special steps? That song? Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. It just popped yeah. in my head. Sorry. Line up the decimal no. point. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So you want to line up the decimal point. That's first thing. Decimal point is plural. All right. And the next step is what, Michaela? Add the zero. Yep, mm -hmm. add zeros if needed. Mm -hmm. You might not always have to add zeros. But if you do, okay, if there's blank places, you need to add them. And lastly, what's the last step? Brandon. Um, look at the digits from the whole number through the decimals, subtract out, and the differences. You want to look at the digits left <coughs> to right. <coughs> to come here. All right. How are we feeling now? Good? Yeah. yeah.